Hello. All right, what's up, everybody? And we are continuing Tekken 7 here at KIT 2019 at the beautiful Cool Springs Marriott in Tennessee. I am Cucho Kate. Yes, I'm Negro Justice. What's up, everybody? And we're coming up with some great Tekken matches here. Yeah, I think this is cool play, but. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so what are we going to have here? Katarina versus. Oh, it's got to be Eddie. Eddie. Well, That's he could have went. He could have went Paul. Yeah. Get ready for the next battle. It's going to be a lot of great movement in this match. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see what we're going to have here. Heading to the abandoned temple. Yeah, we got HBR on the one player side playing Katarina. And then Sparrow Jinj playing his trademark Eddie on two piece side. Sparrow Jin, he's a he's a Tennessee boy now. He lives with Trung out in Trungy actually out in Knoxville. Oh hey, there we go. Yeah. Yep. That's like about like a two hour drive. Not bad at all. Yeah, it really isn't. Alright, let's see. All right, Katarina lands the first punch. Yep. Okay, Katarina really trying to put in work, trying to get something started here. Mm -hmm, really making good use of Katarina's range. Down four, three plus four, there's the Eddie slide, okay. It got that windmill. The Eddie slide. Good combo. All right, he's got the wall pressure now, goes into relaxed stance, gets the counter hit. All right, Spiro Jin, first one up on the board. Round two. Fight. All so right. I believe it's it with launch. the wall rising launcher, yep. Great juggle here. A, oh. Ooh, just misses. Yeah, missed the wall carry on that. All right, Eddie looking really dominating so far. Katarina has access to her rage. What is she going to choose? Oh, nice. Another counter hit. That's been paying off. I've never seen that Eddie use that move before. And here Sparrow is getting mad counter hits with it. All right, Katarina picking Eddie away. Mm -hmm. Eddie down roughly a fourth. Good spacing. I like that one four string from Katarina. All right, gets the launch. Eddie putting in work. Getting Katarina stuck into the corner. Oh, nice sidestep after the down forward one. Her way out, she may uh -huh. get this, and this would be the first point for HBR. Nice sidesteps to a spring kick. Round All right, four. HBR, one round up, two rounds for Spiro Jin. Nice, yeah, that follow up's guaranteed after the down four, three plus four on counter hit. Eddie with the juggle, carries her all the way across the yeah, screen. Yeah, Eddie's wall carry is so good. Ooh. He's so good. Katarina down. Nice block. 75%. A lot of great movement going here. Going for the low. Yeah, Katarina has some very good lows. A lot of them are... are Ooh, just nice, down for 2-2, two, two, gets the wall splat. That should do it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, he's got a pixel. If he had delayed, if he had delayed that a little bit, that um, the rage drive would have hit for more damage. All right, two HBR, two Spiro Jin. Nice, catches the back dash, but doesn't finish the hop kick. Harrier three, gets the knockdown, runs into that relaxed stance. Up, oh, throw break. Not putting up with the rodeo. Responds with a spring kick of his own HBR. Okay, and Ooh. that is it. Katarina is out. Spear Jin wins the first game. All right. You can see how further in those matches HBR was starting to feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then it seemed like right at the end there, they were holding neck and neck, and then it fell apart. Yeah, I don't think, I don't feel like HBR was necessarily doing anything wrong. Uh, I think he just caught a few stray hits here and there. Yeah. Um, Mess like Ooh, made, some, made some missteps on the spacing, but other than that, he was playing it solid. You know, I think so too. And it was like how you said in the first couple of matches, he was really taking advantage of yes. Katarina's range. There was mm -hmm. a lot of good neutral play and pokes going on, but it seemed that the big damage 
was going towards Eddie's juggles. Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree 100%. So what are we going to have? Let's see if he's going to figure out how to fix. Oh, so he went to Eddie Jack. Problem. Yeah. Interesting, interesting pick. HBR switches to Jack. You know, and that's another character with good range. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, power. he's yeah, he's got he's got a lot of tools. He's got a lot of stuff. Um, his, his throw game's good. Uh, he's got good damage, easy execution. He's he's good to go. <laughs> but we'll see. This is a uh, soup. This is a small stage, a lot of walls. So, and, and we know how good Eddie's wall carry is. So, I think he can still go either way. All right, Jack trying to get something yeah, there's going kinda, with Eddie. He's kind of dancing in neutral right now. Yeah, Eddie doing a good job sidestepping, keeping out of the way, but mm. got caught there. Eddie going with the juggle. Jack having a bit of a difficult time in the corner. Down to his last fourth. That move is evil. Ah, watch the toes. <laughs> <laughs> Raced up his it. boots. He got a scuff on my shoe. Oh, wow, I've never seen that combo before. Jeez, Eddie's really putting in a lot of work. Oh, he picks him up out of relaxed dance. That was good. That's it. Jack with the return. Oh, it's just missed. A lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of times your uh, your strategy against Eddie is just finding what your character can do to stop relaxed dance. And I saw him. I saw him float it out of it. Float him out of it a second ago. There, it was good. All right, Spiritin on a roll here. He is up two rounds yep, and sitting one on match game point. to HBR. Plants the seeds. Okay, HBR got caught. Oh, he was off axis there. I wonder if that's why he fell out of the combo. Oh, no launch punish on the um, on the debug. Okay. Eddie putting in some work, only has about 10% life left, has access to his rage drive, mm -hmm. and... But honestly, if Eddie had got a hit, he probably, he probably would have killed Jack, so, because yeah. he was in rage. All right, HBR has one point on the board. Oh, it looked like he caught him out of the startup of his power crush there. Eddie was about to uh, armor through it, but his, it wasn't active yet. Eddie down to about 40%. Jack keeping up the pressure. Ooh, was that a true punish? It looked like it. Ooh. Opts to go for Oki instead of carrying him to the wall. Got the side roll and the juggle. One more hit. Ooh. Is it? Okay. On the board. Up That's two. Two rounds for from uh, the From HBR. the brink. He came back from the brink. Up. Oh, nice wall rising launcher there. That should get him to the wall. The thing about this stage is it's so tiny. Yes. A lot of uh, You can do a lot of, like, Really good wall carry combos. You see a lot of coast to coast combos on this stage. All right, Jax gets the follow up. Ooh, oh, nice. What is that? Up forward two? What is that? Uh oh, here we go for the rage oh, art. Oh, was blocked. Rage another. art punish. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, so. Bam! HBR one, Spiro Jin one. On the board with Jack. So now I wonder if he switches. Now he's just gonna change stages. That was a really intense match. That was that was a good. We, we were just talking away like, oh, it's 2-0, it's fine. Like you know, yeah. and then suddenly it's a, it's it it's interesting. It's competitive. That's right. It was um, a comeback. You really didn't. You didn't expect because it was such a it was an uphill battle and. Yeah, it was HBR. very like it was like a sneaky comeback. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like he did it. And he made it look, you know. Right, like we didn't even realize it was happening. Yeah, <laughs> it was like a seamless comeback. It was yeah. great. All right, so what are we going to have here? Yeah, it looks like Sparrow's going to stick with Eddie. I thought he might. He does have a Paul. I thought he might switch to Paul, but he seems confident in his Eddie going to get going back up against this Jack. So, and I don't blame him. I mean, it, he definitely looked. He looked very strong in that match. It was just, you know. That that happens a lot in Tekken. Those momentum shifts. Yes. You can you get up you get up two rounds quick and then they get a stop, and it's it's real hard after that. That's right. You lose your momentum and a little bit of your uh, I want to say confidence also because you start to doubt the buttons. Right. That you're because to push. right because now Whoa. they're they're doing stuff about it or like they're doing better things about it. He does get the wall. That's gonna hurt you. Yeah. That is a oh, lot no, no, of no. damage. Oh no no no! I thought he was gonna do the shoulder charge. 
Nice. Just, I think that was a counter hit on the debug there. Oh, power crush. All right. Good Last block. There, even the throw better break. throw break. But what's, in make that next hit? <coughs> Excuse me. what's interesting is yes. you see how he broke that throw, then he changed his sides. Yes. So then Jack was against the wall. But Sparrow just opted to, to back up and, and create some space rather than, you know, rush back in. And Jack's closes the round with nine seconds left. Yeah, that was a oh, nice low parry. All right, Eddie going. Man, I love Geese's stage. Yeah, it's a beautiful background. Yeah, it's a combo video stage, though, for sure. Like all those, all those breakable walls and stuff. Yeah. It is a combo video stage. All right, Jack's coming in. Nice, the gets response. the debug while he's still on the ground. Oh. Nice whiff, nice whiff punish. Excuse me. All right, breaking Again. the rodeo throw. To his advantage, to change to break the throw, though, obviously, but also for the position change. 25 seconds left on the clock. Wow, nice pickup. That was a great pickup by Sparrow. A little power charge there. I see him. He's feeling himself a little bit. So All right, let, me guys. Do, let me do this backflip one time. Oh, Final nice. Final round, 1-1. One, one. Eddie with the launch. Gets a great juggle combo into the wall. Okay, Jack blocks and comes out with his own Juggle. Oh, whiffs. That's a big opportunity for Sparrow. Nice. Look at all this damage on the wall. Uh oh, going for the rage drive. Wow, the rage he committed to a move. He committed to a move. It's not gonna kill, but Oh, he didn't even put him in rage. Interesting. I wonder if it, I wonder if he was able to get off the ground. Okay, Sparrow closes that round out. Alright, Sparrow, if he wins one more, he will continue on. Eddie down a fourth. Just dancing right out of reach of Jax. Gets the launch. Going for the juggle. Both guys have roughly the same amount of health. Woo, this Jax is where, putting in work. Yeah, this is where Jax a huge problem with your back against the wall. Nice, oh, that's gonna do it. Interrupt damage. with his rage drive. Yep, he's out of there. That is it, Spear Jin. Good stuff, good stuff. That was a good that that was a good match. It was. it was like the the pace of it was weird, but it was good, you know what I'm saying? That was really amazing, you know, and especially that Oh, last I see. We got we got Warong watching in the background. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. He's he's playing. Oh. He's not just spectating. Warong cosplayer is also a competitor. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Looks like they looks like someone's got a side preference. See, oh, kids, there it is. <laughs> this is why we practice on both sides. Every every day I switch sides in Tekken. Every day I play, I change sides. Because you don't want to get in a situation where you can't execute on the one player side or That's this, right. that, and the other. Do your homework, kids. I always said in the FGC, the most dangerous game is the musical chair game. Right, yeah. Don't even worry about it, man. That's Make right. sure you're ready to go on both sides. That's right. So we're going to see. Well, I'm going to try not to be biased during this match. Uh, TJ, <laughs> TJ's playing. He's a buddy of mine. He's from Memphis. Oh, there you go. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, practice partner? Uh, yeah, yeah. We play online a good bit. He's a, he's a, he's a loyal Williams, Williams sister player. He plays Nina and Anna. Oh, nice. Hey, good. Uh -huh. He's been playing um, mostly Anna since, since she came out. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like her new design. Oh, I love her new design. And yeah. I think she's really good. I, I, I think I... I know a lot of people kind of sleep on her, but I think that's a good character. There she is. So then that'll be TJ on the two-player side, and we'll get we'll get Huarong's actual name in a minute. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> It'd be funny if he picked like Miguel or something. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. he's dressed as Huarong. He plays like <laughs> Xiao Yu. <laughs> I like Miguel as a character, too. I think he's really good. Oh, Miguel's an awesome character. I love his design, too. I love those characters that are straight brawlers. Like, yes. Like Shin Wu and King of Fighters. Like, they just swing. They don't know any That's martial it. arts. <laughs> yeah, they just <laughs> chest out, just swinging, you know? <laughs> he's got that, like, lean back stance like he doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like he's a JoJo's character or something. He's got that, man. So, is that the Rago? I will break you. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right, so we've got more of the classic Harong 
Uh, yeah, too, yeah. All the um, I think all the legacy characters got Round more costumes in Tekken Seven. Fight. All right, who's like going to get the first hits? Oh, good oh, break. break. It's so hard to see Warong's throws because they come out of his stances. All right, Anna with the first hits. Warong putting in work. Warong's an interesting matchup in that. His, his offense is really strong, but he's also very susceptible to strong offense. The the thing you got to do against Warong is not let him get started because he's, he's such a momentum character and right. such an offense-heavy character. And you can see right there, the beginning of that round was a little bit slow, but once Warong got started, it exactly. was very quick. Mm -hmm. All right, Anna oh, I like started this. with some momentum of her own. Warong down to his left. Oh, that was like an execution error. Nice. Ooh, so TJ it. responds with a perfect. Oh, I wonder how minus her power crush is, if at all. Okay, Anna with the launch, carries her on to the wall. Ooh, a little bit of nice. a pause there. That that move is dirty out of that. Uh, I don't know if that's like, it's a special stance she has, It's a, but it's a natural combo. It does so much damage, especially in Rage. Nice use of power crush. That's an interesting uh, hit effect. So like her power crush spikes into the ground and they're face down head towards, so she gets a, a follow-up or like an Oki mix-up after that. Oh, nice. All right, Harong going for... Warong, another very strong wall, heavy, wall carry character. Ooh, gets caught, does his rage drive. Goes mid. Yeah, he's got the he's got the mix-up after that rage drive is blocked. And a two, Harong two. Oh. Didn't finish that string. He didn't. Going for the low. Gets the juggle. Oh, sidewall threw off his combo. It continues. Haran down 50%. Picking apart at Anna. Oh, she goes down. Oh, yeah, that, that, that follow up usually guaranteed. Stuck I think he did it. Oh, going this for the right chart. <laughs> he may be dead. Because we brought a bazooka with us. <laughs> oh. Ooh, oh, still alive with a sliver. Yeah, he's got like two pixels. Oh, what? All nice, right, Haran nice. takes it and takes the game. So disrespectful. <laughs> Sits on her back. He should have just gotten on the motorcycle and sped along. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, he only does that on the volcano stages. Like, how did you get this motorcycle here? This is a volcano. <laughs> this is an active volcano, <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right, well, TJ did a great job with Anna. It just yeah, seemed I don't like think that last round, it was a difficult round for both of them. Oh, he, he is going to switch. Ooh, okay. Nina, okay. His, his Nina is very solid, very good. But I thought he did all right with Anna. I really, like, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been upset at, a, at him staying with Anna. Mm -hmm. He really just, I thought he should have just waited at the end of that match. Just after, after he got the super. Dash up, just wait, because you get the like. I I could feel like he wanted to do it. He wanted to do something. Yeah. So it's like it's like man, if you wanted, if he just held back, but it's all good. He's gonna switch to Anna. Let's see if Haran knows like how to deal with Anna. I don't want to say it's too frantic, but he, he was too eager to try to end the round. Yeah. Fight. That's exactly what it was. All right, so we're starting out with a new character here. Nina Williams enters the stage. Nina, another slept on character. I don't know why more people don't play her. Nina doing a lot of that. Yeah, that is here. not safe. I'm not sure TJ knows what punish. Oh, punish that. Here we go. All right. Nina taking a lot of damage down to her last fourth. 33 seconds left on the clock. Nice wall rising punish. Uh oh. Ray Chart is blocked, yeah. and Haran and was promptly first launched. Fight. I feel like TJ might be having a little bit of nerves. All yeah, right. so that yeah. string, that string that he hit with yeah. after after that uh, the, the previous move is guaranteed. If that move hits, you have to duck it. Oh. Otherwise, he gets that. It's like two and a four or something. There's like a guaranteed string after that. Oh, man. Yeah, Tekken has so much hidden tech that 
that they don't tell you in the game well, and yeah. that's been in the series for, for forever? You know, there's hidden tech, 150 moves like per character, and if you play Lay, it's like 250 moves. <laughs> right, right. And and then and and then there's hidden moves. Yeah. So like <laughs> we make the joke, it's like Yoshimitsu has has that's right. a, like half as many hidden moves as he does regular moves. Well your buddy's making a comeback here. He is yes, on the yes. board. Now if uh, Drago wins one more round, he will be moving forward into oh. the bracket. All right, watch the toes here. Yeah, it goes for the stomp. Good guaranteed damage. Working out those legs. Oh, just missed with the sidestep. Catches a launcher for his trouble, unfortunately. TJ getting 50% damage against the wall. Down to the last Oof. fourth. That caught his oh, roll. Need the follow up on that, TJ. He does have access to Rage Drive and Rage Arts. Wow. All right. Well, that was a very convincing match. It was. It was Drago. indeed. I'm wondering, too. I, I sent some nerves on TJ's side. I also feel like maybe he was a little unfamiliar with the matchup. Yeah. But it's all good. We're going to keep it moving. That was some A. I'm just happy to see <laughs> someone dressed up as the character that actually knew what to, how to play. You hey, know what I'm I, saying? That's right. I fully it's a lot I of people faking the that. funk out here. You know what I mean? You know, and speaking about dressing up, if you look at the new costumes that they have for Nina and Anna, Nina is in a white wedding dress. Mm -hmm. And then you have almost the exact opposite for Anna. She's in a black lace with feathers. Oh, yeah. It's almost to show this, I don't want to say split personality of the it is, No, it, I think it is reflective but, of their personality. Yeah. Anna, oh, yeah. Anna's been around uh, around the block a few times. You know what I'm saying? She she knows what time it is. But Nina killed her. <laughs> so really, I think Nina should be the one in the feathers and the you know lace and all yeah, that like kinds the, of the, stuff. The, Nina should be in the wedding dress. The angel know, of death get up. All right, guys. Well, we're going to talk real quick about Frosty Fostings. That is going to be January 18th and 19th. Nice. Look and at there's that. going to be. 5,000 in pot bonuses, five, over 5,000 in pot bonuses. Look at that. It's an ARC Revo World Tour qualifier. Go and get registered at Smash GG. That Let's see. It. Online registration closes today, so tonight at 11.59. Y'all get it up. in. Look at these games. You Hold got up. it at midnight. Hold up. EX Layer. Is King of Fighters in here? Do you see King? Look, there it is. Yeah. You got Street Fighter V Arcade. This is a great lineup, guys. Yeah, it's like everything. I We've see got Wind Jammers. in there. Yeah, Look at this. Jammers, Killer Instinct. TVC, and it has a hundred dollar pot bonus. Somebody's somebody's getting it. Is it you? That is awesome. Awesome stuff. It's right there in oh, Chicago. Oh man, you guys gotta stop putting my friends on stream, man. I know both of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a special spe special thanks Ugh. also to Vertigear, Zowie, Hitbox, Adark. And Controller Chaos. Absolutely. Big thanks to our sponsors. You know, for helping us out here at KIT. Man, I, lo I love it because I'm a, I'm a Tennessee native. I'm a Middle Tennessee native. So, yeah. like, I've, I've watched KIT grow. I've been to KITs where, because, uh, you know, Ian will sometimes bless people, let them let them use the, the KIT tag. And yeah. So, Geo did one when he was living in, living in Knoxville. I went to that. And so I went to one in Memphis. It's, it's always a good time. I've just seen it grow and get bigger and bigger each year. So I, I love coming out to KIT. So since you are a Tennessee native mm -hmm. and everything, you know, Chris, like what are your thoughts like, you know, on this, you know, Tekken 7 and your character in the game and oh, a man. little bit about yourself? So I really, so it's interesting because historically I, 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 was an, what they, I was one of the 0-9ers. I yeah. came in in Street Fighter 4. Great. And yeah. I kind of like, you know, in the in the in Tennessee Southeast, like I kind of try to made a, made a little bit of a name myself playing Bison in Street Fighter Four. Yeah. Uh, did well at um, Seasons Beatings one year. That was a lot of fun. But uh, n these days, I'm, Tekken is my main game. I really enjoy Tekken Seven. Um, I play my main is is Kazumi, and I play Katarina and a little bit of Lars too. Nice. Because I'm I main Lars in Tekken Six. But I'm really um, happy they came out with Kazumi. I, I think that's one of the coolest character designs yeah. they've ever come up with. She's uh, really I'm amazing. like, I don't know how they're gonna how they would make it work, but if if they can get her in Tekken 8, oh, any man. way they can get her in Tekken 8, if she's a bonus character DLC, I'll buy her. You know, I love that character, but because uh, she's like she's a really fundamental character, she's a really fundamentally sound character, and it'll 
and and I you know I, I play Bison. I play really a really dry character in Street Fighter Four. Really, you know, so I, I like those kind of characters that just stick to the basics. But um, and then I, I love Katarina too. I love what they did with her in season two. Yeah, I think she's really strong and she's really dangerous. Um, and I think I actually I think she's a cool character design too. Um, and her <laughs> uh, interesting her her customization options are really cool. I have a Devil May Cry 3 Dante. Oh, really? Yeah, I have a lady <laughs> from Devil May Cry, so she's got some really good customization options. That's awesome. But, um, yeah, like I said, I know both of these guys. I see Shinblade in the back, too, and the yellow there behind. Uh, that's Big Majin. So on the one-player side, mm -hmm. but on the right-hand side on the player screen is, um, is Big Majin. That's, that's Little Majin's older brother. And he plays, yeah, he plays Lars. And then um, that's KIT Demo on the player two side. Uh, that's a buddy of mine. He's also a Middle Tennessee player. He's he's very solid player. Very strong. Um, I think he's just like right on the cusp of like breaking into that next echelon. You know what I mean? Yes. And uh, he plays. And we actually uh, we both play Katarina. So nice. He he and he's and he's way better than me. I'll I'll be the first to admit that. But um, we you exchange. Know. You know we can exchange tech that way. That's and it's, right. it's really awesome. It's always so helpful when there's somebody that plays your character and they live somewhat close to you oh yeah you know and then you can actually go to each other's houses and have that grind session mm -hmm. because there's only so much you can hear on the phone online yeah. on youtube mm -hmm. you know with me i have to almost hear the buttons and i have to watch yeah you know no i totally get it okay okay Hey All right, guys. guys. Oh, yeah. you got it. Go ahead. Uh, we are going to actually restart the stream, and it's going to uh, help things run a little bit easier. So we 